Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can submit STP quickly and easily using a manual entry of gross wages as opposed to timesheets. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. First thing, we just need to set up our employee. So add employee and we just have to quickly enter some data here So selecting this default departments, entering in some sample data for our TFN. Obviously you're entering in all your real data here. I'm going to select tax category as tax free threshold claimed. Just the default uh, category, payslip category of staff. Now for our rule set for this employee, they're a casual. So I'm just going to select casual. Hit save. And then we'll get some tabs showing that will give us a few more options of things that we can adjust. We can see these, these tabs are here now. And on the pay tab, scroll down to allowances and there'll, you'll find there's a default set already in there. You don't have to set that up. You just have to select it. Hit OK. And we'll hit save. Okay, so we've got our employee set up. Go to payroll, process payroll, create. You can see that we've got a quarterly pay period here. At the moment, no wage is showing as we'd expect. Select payslip from the options. Right, now just click open this allowances deductions. We can see this is an editable field because of this icon here with the pencil. I'm going to enter 10,000 and hit enter. So the numbers are updated and we now have 10,000 showing for our gross wages. If we go down to our tax, we can see it's being calculated along with our super. Now, if you want to, with that default allowance set, you can also add in additional tax if you'd like. So if I wanted to add in another $200, I can do that like so. In this case, I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave our normal tax calculation. I'm happy with that. Hit close. We'll just review our summary. 10,000 in wages, our tax, our net. Looks good. Hit process. Payroll is complete. Our final step, single touch payroll. Select our payroll that we just created. Hit next. And then you would hit submit. I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this video because this isn't real data. I don't want to send it to the ATO. But you would hit submit and then you're done. Thanks very much.